What's up, guy? I'm Brad, your way long care. Um, got a question on my one year later video, uh, and it comes from Donovan Lee. Uh, I hope I pronounced that the right way. But his question was, how do I go about scheduling uh, my clients? He's in it part time now, um, and. He's looking to go full-time next year, which is pretty much what I did. So I, I went part, I was part-time about halfway through this year and after about half the year, I went full-time. So how do I schedule my clients? So what his problem is right now, he's running into is he got weekly clients, he got bi-weekly clients. His bi-weekly clients are wanting to be cut at the end of the week because they want their properties to look good for the weekends. And I had this problem when I went from part-time to full-time. When I'm part-time, I was kind of able to accommodate things. Um, now that I'm full-time, I strictly leave Monday and Tuesdays for my bi-weekly clients. And the reason being, your bi-weekly clients, you're only going to cut them twice a month. Uh, every now and then, you'll hit a three-time month, um, but very few of them. So, when your bi-weekly clients want their claim they want their properties to look good on the weekend, um, simply tell them, "Look, you know, I can't do it um, towards the end of the week. I leave Monday and Tuesday for my bi-weeklies. Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays are for my weeklies. Um, I'd be more than happy to make you a weekly client." to accommodate this for you. Uh, a lot of times the answer you're going to get is no, I can't afford that or no, it just doesn't work. That doesn't work for me right now. All right, so their comment back normally is going to be, but I want my property to look good for the weekend. And I might kind of be a smart ass in a way, but my reply is, what about the week that I'm not there? It doesn't look good for that weekend. Normally that ends that entire conversation at once. But, so the reason you do this, like I said, you only cut your bi-weekly twice a month on average. So they're paying you. Yeah, they normally pay, I normally charge about $10 extra if they're a bi-weekly client than what I would per cut if they were a weekly client. Uh, just for the sheer fact of, you're gonna have a little more work in it. Um, you're gonna have a little more trimming and you know, a lot of times you're gonna you're gonna have to blow areas um, because sometimes you will get you know kind of clumps and kind of thick spots in the with your clipping. So with my bi week with my weeklies, I only do them on uh, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. All right, they're paying you to cut that grass every week. They want their properties to look good for the weekends. They're paying you nearly double in a month's time and double in a season's time what, what you're going to make off your bi-weekly yards. So you're going to want to cater to your weekly clients more. Um, also, your weekly clients are going to be your upsell clients. They're the ones you're gonna get the head trimming from a lot of the time. They're the ones that are gonna want the mulch done. They're the ones that are gonna want their trees trimmed a little bit. They're gonna want overseeding in the um, fall of the year with the aeration. You know, if you got your spray stuff, you're gonna be able to upsell you know, chemical applications to them, pre-emergent, post-emergent, broadleaf herbicides, whatnot. You know, these are gonna be your money-making clients. Um, your bi-weeklies are nothing more than time fillers. You know, they, they fill your Mondays and Tuesdays, give you something to do. And, you know, yeah, it's income. It's not going to be what your weeklies are giving you, but, you know, it fills your time slots. You know, what the concept that I'm looking at is Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays for strictly weekly clients. I am going to try my heart is not to have any bi-weekly customers and my logic behind that i'm going for 
commercial accounts Mondays and Tuesdays. Most of your commercial jobs, they want their yard, they want their property to look good for the week, not the weekend. Nobody's there. So I'm looking to fill my Mondays and my Tuesdays with commercial accounts, 12 month contract. That way I got money coming in year round out of those. So, you know, it's a couple ways to do it, guy. Look at getting you some commercial, fill your Mondays and Tuesdays, clutch, cut strictly weekly yards. You know, they're the ones that are not going to give you the problem. Weekly clients are going to be a hassle. Um, they're not going to want to pay you the extra when you have to double cut and whatnot. You know, they, they're a headache. Um, so, you know, it's a couple ways to do it. Um, this is my logic behind it, how I do my scheduling. Um, and how I, one more thing that he had in his question that I almost forgot about. He asked, how do I go about scheduling for, you know, my days? How do I figure out who I'm gonna cut what days? Um, my best yards, I like to do on Fridays but that doesn't work 100%. Most of my good, good yards are in the same area, which I cut in about a five mile radius from my house in every direction, it's about as far as I go. It's about five miles in every direction. So, you know, it's not a big deal for me. But if you're driving and you know, you're having to go to this area, this area, this area, you're going to want to group your clients together um, try to keep your route tight try to keep your mileage down you know so you're saving money on gas from property to property but anyway that's um that's how i do it you know some people might do it different yeah i'd love to hear you know, if you have a different way of going about it if you have a different way of doing it leave a comment below but um guys stay strong keep praying and uh Keep growing your business. Put yourself out there.